Imagine if your car runs 1,200 kilometers straight after charging once, and that too gets charged in just 10 minutes. Yes, this is not a dream, but can happen with Toyota's new solid-state battery. Toyota CEO recently made such an announcement, which has created a stir in the entire auto industry. Tesla, BYD, and other companies are now shocked as to how Toyota has done this. No company has been able to claim to provide such a large range and such fast charging till date. But Toyota has now made this impossible dream a reality. The question is, after the arrival of this battery, will the whole game of the EV market change? Or is there a catch in it too? After all, what technology is used in it? In this video, we will tell you what is the real story behind this amazing technology of Toyota and why it is being considered the biggest revolution of the future. So stay with us till the end of this video, because at the end we will tell you when this battery can come to the market and whether it really has so much power or is it just a slogan. Before moving on to the video, you must subscribe to the channel so that you can be the first to see such tremendous information. Before knowing about Toyota's market-shaking battery technology, let's first understand what the position of Toyota is today. Whenever there is talk of electric vehicles in the world, the name of Tesla comes first in people's minds. But quietly, that is without making much noise, Toyota has deeply rooted itself in the EV market in the last few years. Many people think that Toyota still makes only petrol and diesel vehicles. But the truth is quite different from this. Toyota is one of the largest car companies in the world, and in the last few years, it has focused a lot on electric vehicles. If we look at the figures of the last few years, Toyota has registered tremendous growth in the sales of EV and hybrid vehicles. In the year 2023 itself, Toyota sold about 3.4 million electric and hybrid vehicles worldwide. That is, one out of every three Toyota vehicles is now running on electric or hybrid systems rather than a petrol engine. Not only this, the demand for Toyota's EVs is continuously increasing in big markets like Japan, America, and Europe. Moreover, Toyota is now fully prepared to compete with BYD and other local companies in markets like China. Actually, Toyota has understood that the era of petrol and diesel engines is coming to an end. After gaining a stronghold in hybrids, now the company is betting completely on battery electric vehicles. That is why the company spent billions of dollars on its R backslash and D research and development. In the last few years, Toyota has set up new EV factories in many countries of the world. It has traveled from its self-charging hybrid to plug-in hybrid and now battery EV. Toyota now clearly says that it will reduce the production of petrol engine vehicles in the next four to five years and will convert most of the lineup to electric by 2026. The company has set a target to sell more than 1.5 million battery EVs every year. Not only this, Toyota has also launched many new EV models in the market. Vehicles like BZ4X, Char EV, and BZ3 have already hit the roads, and there are plans to launch many new EV platforms and models in the coming two to three years. One special thing about Toyota is that it never hurried to run in the EV race. The company always launches its products in the market after testing them thoroughly. This is the reason why people consider Toyota's electric vehicles more reliable. Be it hybrid technology or fuel cell vehicles, Toyota has proved quality and durability every time. Toyota's CEO believes that just making vehicles is not enough to survive in the EV market. It is most important to improve battery technology because it is because of the battery that the range is less, charging takes more time, and the price is also high. And due to this thinking, Toyota did such a big research on solid-state batteries. So now that you know Toyota has already made a stronghold in the world of EVs and is slowly leaving petrol engines behind, then imagine if the same Toyota has now made a battery that runs for 1,200 kilometers and gets charged in just 10 minutes. Then how big will be the explosion in the market? Is 1,200 kilometers in just 10 minutes of charging possible? Why are other companies worried? Now, this question is roaming in everyone's mind because till date no company in the EV market has been able to claim to give such a long range and such fast charging. 
Even a giant company like Tesla give a range of about 500 to 600 kilometers in its expensive models, and fast charging also takes at least 30 to 40 minutes. In such a situation, when Toyota suddenly came and said that we have made a battery that will give a range of 1,200 kilometers and get charged in just 10 minutes, then it is natural for other companies to be shocked. Because that means Toyota hit on the EV's biggest weakness, battery limits. The three biggest problems in the EV market so far are range anxiety, charging time, and high cost of vehicles. Before buying an EV, people think, what will they do if the battery runs out on the way? Or if they sit to charge it, they will be stuck on the charger for hours. And on top of that, the price of an EV is several locks more than petrol cars. This is the reason why EVs have not been able to replace petrol vehicles all over the world so far. So far, Tesla and BYD are at the forefront of this race. Tesla has made a good hold on the strength of its supercharger network and big batteries. Their premium models are giving a range of up to 500 to 600 kilometers. But the problem is that the price of vehicles is very high for such a battery, and the range is reduced in cheap models. On the other hand, BYD launched cheap EVs in China and other countries, whose range is a little less, but the prices are under control. They also gave technology like Blade Battery, which is safe and durable. But their vehicles also do not offer more than 400 to 500 kilometers of range, and fast charging is also around 30 to 40 minutes. That is, the biggest challenge in the EV market today is to make a battery that gives more range charges quickly, and is not expensive. And now Toyota has claimed to do the same. That is why companies like Tesla and BYD are worried, because if Toyota really does this, then their game may get spoiled. Toyota's talk of 1,200 kilometers range and 10 minutes of charging is also big, because it is removing the biggest weakness of EV. And if this battery becomes cheap and ready for production, then the EV market can completely change. People who were afraid of buying EVs till now will also buy EVs without hesitation. So this is the reason why other companies are worried now. They are thinking, what formula has Toyota got hold of that no one has got hold of till now? That is why this technology can prove to be a game changer for the entire industry. How does a solid state battery work? The batteries you have seen in EVs so far are lithium ion batteries. We've been using them in mobiles, laptops, and vehicles for many years. But solid-state batteries are a completely different level of technology. Let's understand this in very simple language. First, understand what is inside a lithium-ion battery. It has two plates inside, one positive cathode and one negative anode. Between these two, a liquid-like chemical is filled, which is called liquid electrolyte. When the battery is charged or discharged, the current flows through that liquid between these plates. Now, the problem is that this liquid electrolyte sometimes gets too hot, 